Hi, Sean Bory here. We're going to talk today about the Bolden movie. It was in theaters in May of 2019 is when it was released. But the first time I went to the studio was in 2007. It's quite a, a long time to make a film. But uh, I'll tell you about the first time I went there. I work with Anthony Mackey as Bolden. And, uh, of course, Oscar Zahn, uh, he was uh, played by Keith Flippin. Uh, he's Oscar Zahn in the movie. And uh, I got to work with him several times. And I also worked with DeFeo Marsalis, who is Witten Marsalis' brother and is actually his manager. I mean, Witten Marsalis' manager. So I worked with them. And... Uh, Director Dan Prickster and um, got to sit right there and kind of do some uh, historical reference for the scene. Uh, we used my recording phonograph and a studio recorder. And the first time that it was filmed, it was a regular Edison Triumph uh, as the recorder. And the first version actually uses an automatic recorder in it, but that was never released. The first version was, uh, the cinematography was done by Vilma Zygmunt, who uh, you might recall from Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Black Dahlia, and several other movies. So I worked with them uh, directly in the movie studio. The first time it was shot in Screen Gems in Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, this is the actual uh, script here from Wilmington, North Carolina. The uh, this is from when it was at uh, Screen Gems. So this is the the uh, script. And so if I, I could actually go on the script and kind of follow along with the uh, Bolden movie. This is actually the from the first movie. This is uh, the cylinder from the first filming. Uh, I had made about 100 cylinders for the Bolden movie. Uh, There's going to be a scene that was deleted where basically, I, I'm not sure who it was, which I didn't see this part. This was not filmed when I was there, but there was a scene where they were going to smash cylinders. So... Uh, I don't exactly know what they did with all of those, but um, I made 100 cylinders. The first time, the first shooting in 2007, you know, they, they were these, I had the smoothbore mold. It wasn't until like 2011 that I had, or maybe it was 2014 that I had the uh, sp spiral core mold. So this is uh, the soundtrack, uh, the song Timelessness. Uh, and it's on the cylinder, and this is that is the actual cylinder from the first shooting of Bolden with uh, Anthony Mackie playing Bolden. And then uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Uh, Gary Carr was in the final version. The first version of Bolden was actually shot in 35 millimeter Panavision film, because that's what. Uh, Vilma Zygmunt liked to work with uh, it was the 35 millimeter film format. I would have loved to seen it uh, in that format. It was really neat to be in the studio and see how it is. I actually have somewhere I have a little movie clip I took of the final scene, but of course because the movie is copyrighted and out there, I obviously cannot put that on YouTube. Uh, maybe I. Uh, with permission, possibly, I will ask. Uh, the prop master was Phil Schneider, who works with the Universal Pictures, and I worked with him. He, he was the person who contacted me about working with uh, the Bolden movie. And uh, I, made, I did all I could to make what they wanted possible. Uh, and uh, who else can, you know, whip together 100 cylinders? You know, most people would have a hard time finding 100 cylinders that they would sell. But I, I made them. And 
This is actually the horn stand that's in the movie. This is actually the horn stand in the movie of Bolden. So, and uh, we used in the movie, actually, the horn that is in the scene is Edison's 79 Fifth Avenue band recording horn. Uh, I know because there's a picture. I found that horn in a picture of the Edison band recording at 79 Fifth Avenue. So that was pretty neat. That's in the movie. Along with uh, the studio recorder. Uh, this is the actual script from the final version that was filmed in another Wilmington, uh, North Carolina location where they relocated all of the uh, scenes for the movie. And... Uh, so, this is uh, scene 182, and this was shot uh, 08, 29, 2014, and it says, INT Barbershop Day, scene 182, Zahn closely inspects the spinning cylinder, camera moves to reveal the Bolden Band banquet recording Timelessness, the song is hauntingly beautiful and raw. Bartley sits smoking a cigarette. A dark beauty uh, at his side. Move in on Bolden, wide-eyed but still in control musically. The band finishes the tune. Wide-eyed and at the edge of crazy, Bolden unscrews the valves of his horns, horn, pulls them out, slams them on the table, and walks out. The band members share a look of bewilderment over Bolden's bizarre behavior. Bartley slips the cylinder into its case and into his coat pocket. Cornish looks around. Warner isn't there to take care of Buddy. Cornish picks up the valves. So that's the uh, actual uh, script for the day. Here's the uh, front of it. So it was a pretty interesting uh, experience being involved in that movie. I'm actually in another movie. I am not my phonograph. Well, I'm making records in another film called Phonograph Conversations. And uh, so that's uh, some interesting factoids for you that you might not know. The Bolden movie, it's interesting. There's always this fascination among record collectors about what happened to the original Bolden cylinder. And what's interesting is that the Zahn family uh, had a Edison Standard Model B. Now, whether that recorded Bolden or not, you know, nobody really knows. It's about a 19... 06, 1907, more like 1907 because it's got the little Edison script. It does not have the banner, you know, like Edison standards, the earlier A's had, or even early B's had a banner on them. But this one had the Edison script decal. And But the cylinder supposedly could have been hauled away to the dump because the shed that the Zahns had put cylinders in was torn down in 1960 and uh, that's as far as anybody really knows about you know who knows maybe somebody picked the cylinder up at the dump there's also speculation that the Bolden band recorded in the early 1890s like 1893 or, or around there for the Louisiana Phonograph Company which was a branch of the North American Phonograph Company that uh, they may have even cut a couple cylinders for for that division, and uh, but these are some interesting things about the Bolden, uh, the Bolden movie. I went to the theater when it came out. Uh, the funny thing is, 
Peoria was showing it, and Morris, Illinois, which is uh, east of here, more towards Chicago, um, on the way to Chicago, on eight, off of 80, and uh, it's by Route 47, so that is where uh, I went to go see the Bolden movie at when it came out in theaters. I went and saw it twice, actually. Uh, it was a fun experience, and... Uh, one I'll, I will remember, and, uh, and the crew and everything was very nice, and uh, it was a good time. The food was really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, they have this basically a buffet for lunch, really, really good, and uh, they have sometimes it would have a, a breakfast bar with waffles and Anything you think of, bacon and eggs and waffles and grits and and fruit, all kind, you know, oranges and bananas and things. So it was a really fun time, and uh, you can see my phonograph in the movie if you uh, you can get it on uh, on Google Play. You can you can actually go watch the Bolden movie, and my phonograph is around the hour mark. So uh, I hope you found this little quick video very informative and interesting. Thank you.